welcome back, friends and family, to Ratchet and Clank. Uh, in the last episode, I rambled on for quite a bit on stuff that happened in other Ratchet and Clank games. I should more probably talk about this game. And uh, we only have one path left, so let's take it. Board Worship. Okay, I just I just said that I'm not going to talk about the other Ratchet and Clank games, but seeing this Worship thing... Kind of reminds me because I played this game last in the trilogy. I played the second one and the third one, then this one. Um, so in the third one, they are the exact same design for worship, but they are underwater. So I always thought it was weird seeing this like in space with the exact same design. And now that I think about it, isn't like no, 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 no. I was about to say because in the first game, it it like takes place in one galaxy and in the second one it takes place in another but then in the third you actually come back to this galaxy so it kind of does make sense that they have the same, the same design okay so this path isn't very long because the end is like right here but bolts are important for stuff so let's just let's just kill these guys as well because riches i like riches i like money i like the chuckles i am 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 greedy <laughs> i don't know why i stuttered but nah, hey hey that's that's just how life works sometimes will this hit it did not okay they are way too close kill him there we go and kill that guy, and we can take this guy out with the wrench. Possibly. There we go. Let's get all of the ammo before pressing the big red button that is here. <laughs> I just love that text. I'm gonna show you. Just take this bolt. These bolts. This bolts. No, that's not grammar. You wanna press the big red shiny button? Yes, I do. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Oh god. We're dead. We're so dead. We're deader than dead, dead, deadly, dead, dead, dead. Dead. We have a timer. We have to run back as fast as humanly possible, as fast as Lombaxly possible. Which just sounds made up. Which it is, because Lombax is a made up race of. Space rabbits. Um, let's just run. <laughs> oh god, let's just skip this guy and jump over that thing. And mm, ish, mm, there we are. That was too close for comfort. It's exploding. It's exploding into a million pieces. I am glad I got out of there. Let's dock back and look at this info bot. Special report. This is Darla Gratch reporting live from Blackwater City. We've just learned that Captain Quark will be presenting the grand prize at the Intergalactic Hoverboard Championship, which will be held here over the next few days. In related news, <laughs> I love how she doesn't even react to that. ...from an infestation of strange amoeboid creatures. The city's administration has assured this reporter that every step has been taken to eradicate these nuisances. Darla Gratch, Channel 2 News. And she's dead. Probably. Did you see that? Yes, I hope that poor woman is all right. Ah, uh, she's fine. He <laughs> <laughs> isn't wretch is such an asshole. Yeah, he does. He wait then a lucky thing we got the hoverboard then, huh guys? That is very good. And I have to just check is Blackwater City the next place we It is! Planet Rilgar! Blackwater City! Uh, yes! Let's take forth to Blackwater City! Isn't that interesting? Flying through space in loading screens. Flying through space is loading screen. Planet Rilgar. Now this is the second part of the demo, which I've talked about before, the 
the uh, yes there, this mini glove thing I don't know why I bought it it's pretty worthless maybe I should reload my save but nah 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 mate we got the mind glove of power and doom which is pretty average <laughs> Um, no, okay, nope. Don't, I'm trying to just, 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 okay. There we go. God damn. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I just ate, so, sorry. Okay, bye, guy. I, bye, I said, stop shooting gas at me, sir. There's a tank. Let's kill the tank with bullets. There we go. So yes, this is the second part of the demo. There were two levels in the demo. It was um, Metropolis and it was Blackwater City. So, and uh, there's two paths on this planet. One path, this one, is the easier path, I'd say. I mean, you have to take both because they lead to different things, but this is the easier path, which leads, with, which leads to the... Uh, the hoverboard challenge which we are going to do and have lots of fun in um, and the other one it's like an underwater trial can we kill oh my god three in one hit that should be an achievement but no sadly no okay actually this is the better gun for these guys it's just spraying all over them spraying all over them dude phrasing my oh man just, just just phrasing. Think about what you what you're gonna say before you say it. It's like the main rule of let's playing. I guess not because a lot of let's players go along with just not thinking about what they're saying at all, just talking, <laughs> attacking two cans. But I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I I mean I love them. Versus is one of my favorite let's play things. I have watched like all versus like twice. I think. I actually did a, before I started my channel, I did a versus on um, the subspace emissary mode uh, in Smash Bros. Brawl with Darkman Gaming, as you may know from my co-op let's play uh, of uh, Portal 2. I mean, uh, and it was real fun. Versusing is real fun. Although, we did both get very concentrated at the end and didn't really talk. So I don't know if that that's like a thing we should do in act in real life or in real life. I mean in content form, but hey, anything can happen. Um, but who won that? Who won that versus? I mean, I mean I did. I won that. So yeah. Mhm. Mm I have one win under my sleeve. I have one O. Okay, don't touch me. I've said this to other creatures, guy, do not touch me. Now you're dead because of it. It's a shame. It's a shame indeed. So yeah, I won the thing, but it was close. We were both on the final boss. And uh, it was like, I had I had died once and he just entered the battle. And, I, and uh, he had like half health left and I had three guys I think left and I was like I I, I had fun I, I had fun <laughs> winning is fun I'm a very competitive person so yeah and I mean the loser challenge was because uh, we both went to the same school at the time and uh, the winner the loser had to buy the winner a chicken sub and a drink which is like 30 crowns. No, 33 crowns. Which is like, doing math in my head, um, 4 bucks? Something like that. And I mean, it's all fun in games. They're all fun in games. Um, who's this guy over here? With the, with the penis head. I know for your robot. Trade you. Well, <laughs> yeah, take him. I don't want him. I just found him.
rip you a new one. <laughs> the fuck you saying? I N O. Rip you a new one. Why, that's the most powerful missile launcher in the galaxy. I know it's worth a lot of bolts. He must have stolen it from the Flarg. Stolen? Look, trash can. Did I say anything about it being hot? You better watch your mouth or I'll rip you a new one. Uh -huh. So, yeah. <clears throat> I currently have 2.400, no, 2,400 bolts. Let's just say that. And this guy wants 150,000 for Rhino. I need to grind. <laughs> um, but no, probably this will be like in the bonus video. Um, when I like pick up all the skill points and stuff. I will have grinded like a lot of bolts to get all the stuff needed for the thing. Um, so can we can we kill you? Can kill you. There we go. There we go. Um, and I'll show you off the power of the Ripia new one. Which is a staple of the Wretched Clan games. I think there is one in every game, basically. So, I mean, I'll have to, if I let's play the other Ratchet Clank games, I have to do that multiple times. But I feel like in this game, because I know in the second game, the, the Rhino 2 is, you have to buy it for 1 million bolts, which is kind of an upgrade for the, the, the 150 here. But the thing is, um... Bolts in this game are worth um, more, I guess, is, is, is the way the, the math works. So, you collect less bolts here, but, but stuff are worth less. And also, a little, little trick here that I figured out when I was a kid. If you just do this and jump off, and they will kill each other. Camera. See? Nice. Right, two versus two. Who will win? I think the guys will win. They did. Bomb glove. Okay, I missed. I didn't even fire it for some reason. So that is a fun way because... I mean, why not use that? Because you save on ammo and you don't get the experience boys for killing people. So just get bolts. And you still get the bolt. So there you go. Pro tip from Octrax. Directly to your ears. There's a path here. Let's take it. Up, onwards and upwards. To adventure. Okay. Laser, laser things. And a gold bolt. We'll see if we can get to that. Kill. Kill, kill. Don't shoot. Go away. No. There we go. There we go. Actually, that gold bolt is very hard to get to. It took me quite a long time as a kid to figure out how to get to it. Um, I'll show you how how I how I tried, but but didn't work. So reasons. Okay, so to continue with the level, you go up here, but there's a button here so you can deactivate it and get to the gold bolt. I mean, if that's what you think will happen. Kill guys, kill guys with the Parasitor. It's one of my favorite guns. It is so good. Also, I... Wait, what? Oh. Alright, there's two paths. More. Okay. Okay. I'm dumb. I'm stupid. Okay, let's fly away. Let's fly. Let's fly away. Is that Frank Sinatra? I don't know. I know, I, I'm just caught up in 50s music, right? Because Fallout, and I've been, mm, it's so good. My favorite track in Fallout 4 is The Wastelander by The Guy, which was the, the song in the live action trailer, which I watched like 50 times, because the song is so good. You just feel like about as fast as, as soon as that comes on the radio, you, I just go into badass mode, picking my favorite gun and just killing everybody. It's so fun. Um, okay, so here, how I was supposed to do it is there's a button here, but it's broken. So what I thought I had to do, I thought since the buttons are 
yellow gold-ish. I thought I had to insert a golden bolt here so I could step on it and then pick it out again. That is not how you do it, because that's stupid. What you actually have to do is this. You have to go over here to the manhole cover. Wait for it to get down, get down, get down. Now, normally, you go up here and go that way. But what you actually have to do is go this way and jump above the cages over to that gold bolt. And that's clever. That's clever. I was so pissed when I figured that out as a kid. But now, in hindsight, it's very clever. Got it. Okay. I now know what I'm gonna call that bolt. <laughs> and those, it's a YouTube reference, and this is for the fun. YouTube references are really fun. I'm actually curious. Of the f few amount of people who actually watch, watch my videos, how many are actually YouTube watchers? If you could answer this question of mine, that would be splendid. Um, because I'm interested. Uh, how many of you guys actually watch other Let's Players and like game reviews and other stuff like that? Because I know uh, before I started this, um, the first uh, the first guy that I got exposed to Let's Playing of was, I mean, not so weird. Maybe it was Chuka Conroy. Um, I was sick. The, this is actually a uh, story. From 2012, yes, I didn't, I didn't, like, discover, okay, let's talk to this chick first and I continue later. Welcome to the Hovercon Intergalactic Hoverboard Competition. Captain Quark, Captain Quark we need to find that guy. Zoomerator to the winner of this competition. A platinum zoomerator. Perhaps that will be the proof of your accomplishments that Skid yes. Agent requires. Wait, do you guys <laughs> Skid, Skid Marks. Marks? Still yeah, funny. Skid couldn't make it, so we're here to, you know... Fill in yes, we'll see about yes. That. Also, you have boob physics. Okay. So what happened was I was on a trip to Turkey. I think it was. Yeah, it was probably Turkey. I always confuse because I've been to Turkey and Greece multiple times, and I can't confuse them. Um. But either way, one of those places. Um, and I got sick, like really, really sick, high fever and everything. Um, uh, but luckily, I had my laptop with me. But I didn't have anything to watch because I forgot to bring my movies. So I just surfed like something, and I think I stumbled upon YouTube. I think it was what like Jay Wood's video or something, um, because I knew about him. Um, let's jump into this uh, hover, hover, enter race. Okay. So, uh, uh, go fast, gotta go fast. Okay, I'm just gonna talk, try to talk about playing this. Um, yeah, so I just stumbled upon his, uh, I think it was, did he play Leaf Green or did he play Fire Red? I don't know, but the remakes of the first generation of Pokemon was the first one I saw. So I watched that whole thing. I was like, this is like really interesting um, and fun to watch, see other people's input on the games and stuff. And it's entertaining and all sorts of that. And I mean, his editing is pretty, pretty, pretty good. I mean, his let's play, like if you compare those to mine, I try to be more, I, he try, he is more informative. God damn it. <laughs> And I trying to be more entertaining and like start up conversations and try to talk about stuff, not always related to video games. Um, uh, and I mean that is kind of a mold taken. Um, taken is the wrong word, but like inspired is a better word by Josh Jepson, which is, which is now is my favorite YouTube personality ever. Also. He just got married, so if you somehow watch this, Josh, congratulations, you, you, you good man, you. Thank you for hours upon hours of entertainment. Anyway, I'm going off on a rant here. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, where was I? I was talking. Right. 
So I was watching his first generation Pokemon Let's Play, and then I watched his second one. And then, did I win? Got second place, god damn it. Okay. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm just playing right now, I'm going autopilot. Um, damn it, what was I gonna say? Uh, so, alright, I watched his um, first generation, and then I watched his second generation playthrough. And I la laughed my ass off when he got that shiny coughing. Which which is a real funny moment. If you have watched that moment, it's real funny. And then I watched this Emerald. And then I just spiraled off into other games. I don't remember what game. But then I stumbled upon the Runaway guys. Uh, and the first Let's Play I watched of that was the... Um, what was it? The... the what's it called? Super Mario Bros. Wii. Which uh, happened to feature Josh Jepson, the guy, the guy I was just talking about. So that's how I got introduced to his videos as well. And the first Let's Play I watched of him, I remember very fondly, was Pokemon Snap. Yes, I was very obsessed with Pokemon. Okay, shut up. <laughs> I still am. I th I really love Pokemon. It's fun. I'm in first place, so just that's I am that good. Um. So, my question did. Okay, I just have to ask this question. Would you guys be interested in watching me, like, doing a Nuzlocke? Because I watched. Recently, I watched the Shady Penguins. Uh. Shady Lock of. 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 Uh, Heart Gold, I think it is? Um. And I really. That really went. Oh, I did it! Folks, Captain Quark here. It is it's my the guy. He's not here. This year's Hovercon Intergalactic Champions. Let's give it up for newcomers. <laughs> Input name here. That's us. Today's winners will take home a brand new professional grade Model T15 Fuck yeah. Magnum Zoomerator. Manufactured by Gadgetron, this hoverboard drive delivers more lift, speed, and maneuverability than any other anti-grab device on the market. Well, folks, that's all the time we have. Tonight, remember to set your info bots to the Quark Classic channel for tonight's episode of Dogfight Over Death Canyon. Starring yours truly. Thank you, and have a quark Thank you. Day. So, he's not here. We didn't get to meet him. So, we just have to... Have to... Look for more places to find him. I don't know where he might be. Oh, my... Wait... Oh goddamn! We can't see it. Uh, nothing. You'll see in the next episode. So that's fine. I'm just gonna finish my thought while going back to the main hub thing. Where was I? Right. I was walking, watching his um, Shady Lock, which is more, even more advanced version of the Nuzlocke. But I really, because I have played Nuzlocks by myself, and I suck. And I really would like to actually play it as content. So, and I think I think it'll be interesting because I react very bad when my Pokemon die, and like I I guess like that is one of, don't don't get eaten by the fish, Ratchet, Ratchet, get up, there we go. Um, and I think like that's the main thing why people watch Nuzlocke is like watching the reactions and stuff. But that is going to be it for this episode of Ratchet and Clank. Don't forget to like, comment, share, fun stuff. I'll see you. Next time.